and gentlemen, welcome aboard New York Jets News, hosted by Jude Jets, the best darn place for some Jets news. Enjoy your flight. What's good, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to the New York Jets Daily Recap. I'm your host, Jude Jets. And before we get started, 80% of you who watch my videos are not subscribed, so make sure to hit that subscribe button. Without further ado, let's The New York Jets trade outside linebacker Jordan Willis to the San Francisco 49ers. The 49ers also receive a 2021 seventh round pick, while the Jets receive a 2022 sixth round pick. Willis was just a backup player, never really started, had a sack for the Jets last year, was drafted by the Bengals in 2017. He hasn't recorded a tackle <laughs> so far this season, but he did have a fumble recovery in the week one game against Buffalo. Taking a look at the New York Jets injury report for Wednesday, October 21st, Alex Lewis did not participate in practice today. Becton, Crowder, Darnold, Adoga, Ficken, and Perriman were limited in practice. Becton and Darnold injuries were progressing according to Gaze, and they were limited in practice. Darnold has not practiced since two weeks ago. Becton looked really strong at the end of last week, so there's a high chance that both of these players could play. Crowder and Ficken are new to the injury report. Ficken, who's been pretty amazing so far this season, he's eight out of nine in field goals, missed a 55 yarder, but to be fair, that was his longest field goal ever attempted in his career. Crowder's just been amazing for the New York Jets, he's been one of the best wide receivers in the NFL. Perryman, who just played his third game in the NFL season last week, gets hurt again. This time he has an ankle injury. That's just a problem with Perryman. He can't stay health. Taking a look at the Buffalo Bills injury report for Wednesday, October 21st. <laughs> Taking a look at the Buffalo Bills injury report for Wednesday, October 21st. Josh Allen had full participation in practice today. John Brown, Dawson Knox, T Tyrell Dawson, and Cody Ford did not participate. Now, John Brown, it says that he did not participate in practice on Thursday and Friday. We haven't got to those days yet, so maybe it's just a glitch or it's meant to be. We'll just have to find out tomorrow. And Jake Fromm, Matt Milano, and Cam Lewis were limited in practice. Huge news for the New York Jets. So Denzel Mims looks like he's going to play this week. He practiced today and Gase is optimistic about him making his season debut. And the New York Jets designate cornerback Bryce Hall to return to practice. Bryce Hall was a late round draft pick by the Jets this year and was very good at the University of Virginia in his college days. And now we have some exciting news about some rookies. Denzel Mims is set to make his NFL debut this week. Gates was optimistic about him doing that. And he now the New York Jets have some rookie news. Denzel Mims, who has not played a single snap this season, looks like he's going to play this week. He's returning to practice, and Gase is very optimistic about it. The New York Jets designated rookie cornerback Bryce Hall to return to practice. He was a late-run draft pick by the Jets this year. He was placed on the reserve slash non-football injury list at the beginning of the season, and he hasn't got to practice yet. Now he's eligible to return. Now there's... Now, he was doing individual drills today, so that's a good sign. I don't know if he's going to play this week. I would say his return will most likely be week eight. But we'll just have to see how things go in practice. Thank you guys for tuning in. If you like what you saw or heard, make sure to subscribe because I post content like this every single day. Thanks for tuning in, and as always, go Jets. Peace. He did the, he did the monster.